Welcome to Cavaletto Studios. I'm Chris. Today we are standing amongst the trees. This whole practice is off the floor in a series of standing postures. So if you want a quick workout on the go or in the trees, this class is for you. Be sure to comment below with your favorite standing posture and let's get started. We're going to begin at the top of your mat in your mountain posture, Tadasana. Check your toes are about hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Let's open up the chest, feel the big toe and all the toes pressing into the floor. Feeling your heels grounding into the earth as well. Close your eyes for a moment, open your palms towards the front and feel the shoulders pulling down. Feel your connection, we're nice and tall. Another deep breath in. Preparing for our standing yoga series. Take a deep breath, inhale through the nose. Let's exhale through the mouth. Let's add some arms, inhale through the nose, reach the arms overhead. Tap the fingers, exhale the arms all the way down next to the body. Inhaling again, reaching tall elongating the spine, pulling the belly in, and then exhale down. Good, two more times. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, and then exhale them down, feeling those shoulders relax. One more time, inhale, lift. Add a little slight back bend, exhale, arms to the body next to it, open up nice and wide, soften the knees, inhale, reach the arms, and once you get up there, exhale, but shoulders relax into place, keeping the arms overhead. And let's add a side bend, leaning to your right, reaching those arms, feeling the feet grounding into the earth. Take another deep breath in and then out. On your next inhale, lift to the sky. Exhale to the left, side bend the opposite way. Check in with the feet, relax the shoulders, breathing here. After your next exhale, take an inhale and lift to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive to the earth. Good, inhale, half lift, lengthen the arms and the back. Flatten out the back, pull the shoulders away. Take an exhale, hold here. Take another inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, flat back, inhale, rise. Reach those arms all the way up to the sky. Tap the fingers, slight back bend, find your mountain. Exhale the arms next to the body. Pull those shoulders back and down. Inhale the arms up, slide those shoulders into place. Soften the knees, side bend to the right. Adding on a little bit of a twist. So turn your body slightly to the left and look up. Slide that left arm behind the ear, reach those arms up. Now think about your feet, pressing those arches into the floor, into your mat lengthening, lifting the head and the arms a little further. And then exhale, rotate back to center. Good, inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the left. And this time twist the opposite way, twisting to the right, sliding that right hand behind the ear, reaching the arms, feeling the arches press into the mat, feeling the stretch up the right side of the body, maybe into that right hip. We're breathing, and then back to center. Inhale, lift up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive. Inhale, half lift, lengthen and hold here for two breaths. Flattening out the back, pressing those, the uh, backs of your knees backwards. <sighs> Feeling that tailbone lifting. And then on your next exhale, go ahead and fold forward, bend the knees, inhale, rise. Tap the fingers and then exhale the arms to cactus arms, nice and wide, elbows bent. Make sure your head and neck can move, soften the knees, open up that chest, feel the elbows pulling back. Open up the heart to the sky, to the trees. Good, inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive. Inhale, we're just gonna take a lift up with one inhale. We're gonna exhale on and fold and then bend the knees, inhale, rise. Slight back bend, exhale, palms to heart space. Place your palms behind your back. 
fingertips down, pull those shoulders back and down. I want you to soften your knees, not lock them, and then just open up, standing camel. Leaning back, opening things up. Pull the shoulders down. Another breath in and then out. Good, I want you to take an inhale, lift, and then exhale, just fold forward and then reach those arms down. And then hold on to the elbows and then just swing your body side to side. Stretch out the hamstrings, that low back, the calf muscles. Let your head shake it out, yes and no. And then we're gonna take a half lift. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Soften or bend the knees, inhale, rise. Slight back bend at the top, exhale, palms to heart space. Let's take the right foot back to warrior one. Sending it back, lifting up, opening up. Sending those fingertips together, if that's in your practice, finger tip, fingers touching, opening up. Go ahead, bring the palms to heart space. Big step forward, nice and slow. Plant those feet, find your, mount, find your mountain. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Left foot back, warrior one. Lifting up. Imagine you're among the trees with me and we're lengthening through the spine, becoming tall, we're growing. We're growing in all areas of our life. Just like a tree, expanding to the sky and then bringing those palms to heart space. Slowly, big step forward, coming to back to your mountain. Let's add on, right foot back, warrior one. Open things up. See if you can melt a little deeper. Let's rotate, warrior two, turn your right foot out. Lengthen, relax those shoulders, bend into that front left knee. Make sure you can see your big toe. Flip your left palm up, find your reverse warrior. Reaching for that back thigh. See if you can reach a little further back. Looking up at the trees, maybe you're outside. Coming back to warrior two. Bring the palms together to heart space. Twist your upper body towards the front. Pivot off that back foot, big, strong. Step forward, dragging that foot. Find your mountain again. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Drag that foot, inhale, lift, arms up, slight back bend, exhale, palms to heart space, warrior one, left foot back. Drawing it back, opening up. Find that lengthening in that left hip flexor, finger together, opening things up. Let's open to warrior two. Bigger step back, melting into it. Ooh, I'm sliding on my mat into the pine needles <laughs> and relax those shoulders. So if you're working in the, out in the woods and the pine needles, be mindful your mat will slide on pine needles. Relax those shoulders. Bend into that front right knee. As you know, we're just, we're just having fun here. <laughs> Loving working out in the trees in the forest. And then we're gonna flip that right palm up, reach it forward, let's reverse our warrior. Reach it to the back thigh, bend into that front knee. Lift those arms. This is what we do on vacation. We go in the trees and we make more yoga videos. Lifting and opening so we can share with you. Oh, and breathe and then come back to warrior two. Relax those shoulders, palms together, twist the upper body. Now let's bend that back knee just very slowly, pull it up. Might be because I'm on a hill as well. Open the mountain and relax those shoulders. Take that deep breath in, reach the arms straight up, slight back bend, palms to heart. Exhale, good, right foot back, warrior one. Sinking a little deeper into it. Adding on here, open to warrior two. Bending into that front left knee. Check in with your hands. We're gonna straighten out that front left knee. Do a nice pivot, turn the left thumb up and reach those fingertips as far forward as you can and then melt into your triangle. Opening things up. Now you can look forward, you can look up at your hands. Another breath. And then slowly come all the way back up. 
bend into that front knee, pivot your palms together, relax the shoulders. I want you to pull off your back heel, right heel, and you're gonna come all the way up to warrior three. Kick off that back leg, find that balance. And then you're gonna bend the back knee, pull it in forward and come back to your mountain. I'm gonna back up, sliding back. Find your mountain, open up nice and tall. Draw your big toes together and then sit into chair, lifting up, sitting in the chair. Don't mind me, I've got ants on my mat now. <laughs> Bringing the palms together, growing up nice and tall through the spine, lifting, lifting. Good, exhale the arms next to your body. Now you're gonna pull your right knee foot up into tree. I'm gonna turn sideways. So your right foot is coming into your thigh, pressing in. Now option, you can be on your calf or on the foot on the floor. Pressing your right foot into your left thigh and lifting up nice and tall. See if you can try this on a hill. <laughs> and find that focal point, maybe grow your tree. We're doing tree pose in the trees. You know, you just have to when you're in the pines, up in the mountains. Maybe you live in the mountains and you get to see this every day. This is a treat for me. And breathe in and out, almost done with our tree. And then slowly exhale, palms to heart space, release that foot, find your mountain. Open up that chest. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, palms to heart space. Left foot back, warrior one. Open it up. Find that warrior one. You want it to feel so good. You're getting taller each time. You're getting more flexible. We're gonna open to warrior two, bending into that front knee, relax those shoulders. And then we're gonna straighten out that right leg. Let's get a little attitude. See, feel that left hip pushing back. Right thumb comes up, reach it forward. Slide it on the inside of the shin or the thigh and find your triangle. And just notice the difference. If this top left arm is falling forward, just lift it higher. It's up to you where you go. Maybe your fingertips are on the floor. Maybe you're a little higher and lengthen. Maybe look up and you're breathing. A couple more breaths here. And then we're gonna come all the way back up, bend into that front leg, relax those shoulders, palms at heart space, pivot the front to the, uh, the upper body to the front. We're gonna lift off, pivot off your back heel, find your warrior three, lifting up and lengthening and breathing. And then you're gonna bring the feet together, touch those toes and let's find our chair, sitting into it and just breathe here. And then we grow it all the way up, straighten up the spine, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, palms to heart space. Let's find our tree. So left leg comes up, foot into the calf, the shin. It can be all the way up above the knee. Just don't press into the knee unless it's just the toe. And you're gonna lift nice and tall, finding your tree, maybe growing your tree and lengthen, breathing in and out. Feel the relaxation coming over your body as you find your dristi, your focal point, your unmoving focal point. Continue to breathe, we're almost there. And then we're gonna bring those palms to heart space, release that leg. Find the top of your mat again, open to your mountain. Take a deep breath, inhale, reach the arms, exhale, forward fold, swan dive. Release any tension in that low back, hang out, shake out the head, and just breathe. Let's take a half lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, flat back, inhale, rise, press through the feet, slight back bend, exhale, palms to heart space. So we're going on, moving on, right foot is going, foot is going back and we're going to crescent lunge. So the back heel doesn't touch. Find your crescent thumbs, pushing towards the back, opening up through the heart space, drawing those shoulders down and back. 
and just breathe. Now we have another balance one. You're going to stand up just like we did going to our warrior three, but this time we're coming up and we're gonna bend that back right leg and grab hold of the foot and extend it to dancer. So you can come straight up and pull the foot to the glute or you can hinge forward and go to king dancer, kicking that foot into the hand and lengthening. Find your focal point, continue to breathe. And then we're gonna come all the way back up. We're gonna release the feet back together, back to mountain. Find your stability in your mountain. You're nice and strong. Close your eyes for a moment. Check in with your heart rate. Check in with your feet. Check in with your shoulders. Relax them. Take a deep breath in. Reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, rise. Slight back bend. Exhale, palms to heart space. And then release those arms. Left foot back. We're going to our crescent lunge. Other foot back. Lengthen and open it up. Thumbs pushing to the back, arching through the body. And breathing. Some people like to do yoga on the beach. I like to do yoga in the trees, on the mountains. Fresh air, the breeze in the trees. Lengthening, feeling that left hip flexor really push through that back heel. Good, bring the palms to heart space. Engage your core as you lift all the way up. Maybe you just find a warrior three. Maybe you bend that knee, grab the inside of that foot or the outside is fine. You can stand tall and pull the knee in together or you can hinge and kick that foot into your hand, extending out to King Dancer. And now breathe, inhale and exhale. One more breath, find your strength, your power, and slowly releasing all the way back down, both feet on the mat. Check them to make sure they're about a fist distance between and open up. Wipe any ants off your mat if you have them and relax those shoulders. Take a deep breath in, reach those palms up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Good, just take a slight a uh, slight wider stance on your mat so you are, your feet are about the outer edges and slightly turned out. We're working our way towards our yogi squat. So take a deep breath in, reach the arms up, palms together, slight back bend. Exhale, squatting down into it, lowering down. So I'm gonna turn so you can see. So as you lower down, slide those triceps inside the knee, drop those hips, lift that chest and just breathe in and out. We'll try that a couple times. So go ahead and plant your hands, straighten out your legs, move back a little, and then come up and drop your hips. Lift up the upper body and drop those hips. And breathe. And just enjoy this space. One more breath. And then place the hands on the floor, slowly straighten out the legs, turn those toes to face the front, but they're still wide and slowly lift all the way up. Slight back bend, exhale, palms to heart space. Good, we're gonna bring the feet together and you're gonna be at the top of your mat, palms at heart, relax your shoulders. I want you to breathe the arms in all the way up. Exhale, palms behind the back, interlace those fingers, Press the palms together and open up that chest. Option here is to add a forward fold, lifting those arms and just breathing. Soften the knees, start to roll yourself all the way up. Nice and slow, draw the shoulders down and back. Release the fingertips, inhale all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Relax those shoulders. We're gonna take that right foot back. We're gonna find our crescent lunge again. Lifting all the way up, drawing those elbows up and the thumbs backwards. Lifting and opening. Feel that stretch through the 
right hip, and then bring the palms to heart space. I want you to twist to the left. And relax those shoulders, pressing into that back heel. Couple more breaths here. Feel your strength and your power. And then back to center. Draw those arms back up, open it up. Let's see if you have more power where you can bend the back leg, jump it up to a warrior three. This time take the arms wide, find your airplane. Bend your back knee and then pull it forward all the way up to your chest. Give it a squeeze and then back down on the mat and find your mountain. Sometimes we have to get challenged when we climb a mountain and just like life, relax here for a moment. Feel the feet grounding into the earth. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms. Exhale, palms to heart space. Left foot back, find your crescent lunge. Scoot that foot back, draw those arms up. Elbows up and thumbs back. Lengthening through that left hip. Pushing through that back heel. Bring those palms to heart space. Let's do a nice twist to the right. Pressing that left palm towards that right. Enjoying that twist here. One more breath. And then come back to center. Draw those arms back up. And find your power. You can bring your hands to heart space if you'd like. Power it up to warrior three. And then bring it out to airplane. I'm moving from the ants. We're coming to my feet. Bend that back knee. Pull it up nice and tall into standing with the knee to chest and then release back to mountains. Walk out those feet and open up that chest, grounding into the earth. So I want you to stay there in your mountain. I want you to draw your big toes together. Pull your thighs together, bring your palms to heart space. I want you to feel the energy, close your eyes. If you feel comfortable to do so, feel the energy running through your body from the earth up through your feet to the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in. Hopefully you feel tall like the trees standing in the mountains. Take a deep breath in through the nose, fill the belly, and then exhale through the mouth. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, pressing the palms together. And then exhale, palms back to heart space. You did a great job today. Thank you for joining me for a standing yoga series. Namaste.